Okay, hey guys, it's Dr. Emmer West Hollywood. Thanks for joining. You know, we've talked a lot about lately about using growth factors such as PRP and other treatments for preventative hair loss, but there's different types of hair loss, and this is an important thing to learn, that the majority of the time we're using these growth factors and under injectables, we're working on genetic hair loss, but not usually stress-induced hair loss. So genetic hair loss is hormonally re regulated or due to your genes, and we kind of try and fertilize the hair with growth factors to re, you know, strengthen itself. But in some cases, younger people can lose their hair, and they can lose it in patches that are circular, or something called alopecia areata. This condition is autoimmune and can affect patches on the head, the eyebrows, and the genital area. And some people can progress to even larger um, amounts of the, of the surface area called universalis, where basically, or tortellus, where the entire hair is lost in the whole body. There's no treatments for that. So when we, when we find somebody that has an early alopecia areata, in the old days, they used to say, don't worry about it, stress goes away, it's just gonna grow back. And it could take six months to a year for the hair to grow back. Then then some people started learning about injectable steroids and topical irritants to irritate the area. Now we're using injectable steroids plus those growth factors to get those hairs to calm down that inflammation internally and to build a new strong new set of hairs that grow back in the area and don't allow it to spread. So we're going to use a combination. You take a look up close here of a patient of mine who now has this patch area of hair loss. And you can see what we call exclamation point hairs. If you zoom in right there, you see how those look like the, an exclamation point where there's a little bit of a of a, a straight line and then a dot in those hairs. So that's exclamation point hairs. Those are good hairs to be able to treat with our injectables. So we're gonna use our, our combination here of something called A cell, which is bladder enriched stem cells, PRP, which we drew from her own blood, that's growth factors, and also a little bit of a steroid. On the count of three, you're gonna feel a pinch. One, two, three, and do the best I can. And we inject a bunch of the fluid here do the best you can not to hurt good okay another injection one two three deep breath perfect good and we want that area to be flooded with the growth factors because what's happening inside in a person with alopecia areata is their hair is getting their body is getting really stressed out and it's seeing the hair as being foreign and so it's getting rid of the hair another little pinch one two three Now I'm gonna do a couple injections around the area just because we want the, sorry honey, it's the fun. whole area to get kind of the rejuvenation effect so that the entire area gets less stressed out. That's really the idea here. So usually what I'll do, if this is in a temporal area, most women get a little bit of thinning anyways up in the crown in the temporal area here. So we just go kind of along the temporal area of her hair and kind of inject some of these growth factors. A few more pinches and you're done. Okay, just kind of all around and this will strengthen the hairs around and kind of give the, the area that has the areata more ability um, to improve itself. And you know, there are different types of hair loss. So for example, if you do have hair loss, it's really important you get a formal evaluation even for a biopsy on this type of hair loss, it doesn't give you a ton of info. We have to look at the clinical signs and she's young and healthy and has a lot of you know, stress. She's a successful person. So it makes sense that this would be occurring randomly. We just need to treat it early. Perfect, everything's done. So that's basically it. And how, what we'll do is we'll see her back in three to six weeks, do another treatment. And at home, we're gonna to do topical irritation treatment where we irritate this area with retinol and growth factors to stimulate basically your own good cells to come in and kick out the bad cells. And then hopefully, cross our fingers, within three months, the hair will grow back. Six months will be back to normal and we'll never see it again. Have a good day, guys.